everybody has their own favorite rust treatment um, stuff I use um, it's called the must for rust um, I read about it and you can get it I think it's either at Home Depot or Lowe's can't remember which one I'll put a link to where you can get it um, but anyways it uh, seems to do a pretty good job it's not that harsh um, it's biodegradable um, and it seems to seems to work pretty good uh, basically I'll just kind of liberally put it on there um, kind of let it sit and then I usually take a this one's pretty well used up but a metal little metal brush and scrub the heck out of it after a while and just to kind of help it along it seems to be pretty good. So I'm just trying to get some of the stuff that's going to be on that seam there. So I'll get a little scrub and a little more on there and let it sit some more. I'll come back to it and scrub it again. Alright, now I'm going to make me some uh, patch panels um, to go into the areas that I just cut out. So like, here's the cutout that I did, and hopefully this is in the camera. I'm not trying to get good at this. And there we go. So, um, like I say, I think I got this from watching... Uh, the Southwest Rod and Customs channel where uh, my friend Pete shows us stuff. I think that's where I first saw it where he basically said anytime you cut out you know something that, that isn't flat um, you can basically um, flatten it out and then use that as your template to cut out a new piece of, um, of metal to go in there. Um, cause otherwise if you try to you know, just kind of estimate, you may end up short on the wrong size um, or too long, whichever way it works out. So, I'm going to have my little piece of angle iron that I use to beat on things and flatten things out. Um, so, I'm going to see what I can do to try to flatten this out. There we go. Got it pretty flat, so hopefully that'll work. Um, and then what I'd use, um, just a, it seems to work out good and it's you know cheap. Just uh, save cereal boxes, and so it seems to be about the right grade of cardboard um, to make my templates with. So let's go a pair of scissors. This baby down the seam here. So for this, and that area there's would work out nice. And you get some a little bit of it, you get some straight edges kind of built in when you do the cereal box. So you can kind of Line that up with that straight edge, and I didn't cut that so straight, so I'm going to kind of leave it a little off there. I'll just have to straighten that out afterwards. And then there's a chunk missing out of this one, so I'll have to kind of fill that in. So I'll kind of go there, kind of go there. chunk missing off to kind of just do a straight edge get that back and over here so I didn't, I didn't cut that too straight get that drawn in that should be pretty good 
And then what I'll do is take my straight edge. All right, so we'll go try it out and see what we got. All right, well, here's the first attempt at the template. Um, and I'm a little shy on this side. Um, it fits a little tight over here. Take a little more off there. Um, a little tight over here on the sides. And then in this corner, I need just a little bit longer to reach down to where I cut that off. Um, I mean, the lip looks pretty good. Uh, it seems to match where the egg, the original one was. So, let me try another template here and we'll try her again. All right, I'm going to cut out the steel in the shape of my little templates. So, I try to find a good straight cut edge on here that I can kind of line up on and use as my starting point. And then I'll take one of my markers pretty good. And how's that? This little guy I got to cut out. Uh, I'll just put him up here. And for these, I'm going to try to cut toward the inside of the line since this, you know, is the exact fit. Um, cutting to the inside of the line should get me back to, to what I had. Um, so I'm going to do that next. Okay, I'm going to do a uh, small experiment with this phosphoric prep and etch. Uh, by Clean Strip. You can get it at uh, Home Depot. Um, I saw some videos online of another guy, I don't remember his tag name, but he was doing a Nova, an old Nova. I'll have to put some links in the description, but um, he showed how it works. Um, so I'm just going to do a like, quick little test. Um, basically, I have the um, and to one of my rockers. Um, this was the bad one, had a hole in it. So I'm just going to kind of give it a spray and um, see what it does. The inside of this, I think, has some kind of coating on it. So I'm going to spray. Actually, no, that's the. It goes backwards. This is the outside, which has the spray on it. Um, so this is just rusty metal. So I'm just going to. Give it like a spray because the guy said you just spray it um, and keep it wet, and I guess it does its job. Um, he said it took several days um, of keeping it wet, so I'm just gonna try to keep it wet here. I don't know if I'll do it for several days, but we'll see what it does. Um, so I basically put it in my own spray bottle. So let's see here. All right. 
There we go. That seems nice and wet. So we'll kind of let that stuff sit. Um, try to keep it sort of wet. And we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, yeah, the guy said, oh, and here's, um, <laughs> just for comparison's sake, this is uh, what that part is. This is like the replacement uh, um, rocker end. <laughs> so that's what, uh, that's what I'm going to replace it with. A lot better looking than what came off. Um, so, anyways. So we'll let that sit. I'll try to kind of watch it, keep it sort of wet. Um, it's kind of humid today, so I don't know if that'll help. Um, so we'll see what happens. Thanks. Bye.